Hi everybody, it's Sharon. Today I'm in Sausalito, standing in front of what looks like a big warehouse. It used to be a warehouse, but in 1957, it was transformed by the Army Corps of Engineers into a model of our bay. Let's take a closer look. San Francisco Bay is the largest estuary on the Pacific coast. An estuary being a mix of fresh and salt water. Fresh water flows down from the Sierra Nevada mountains, making its way into the bay and finally into the ocean. The bay supports a rich and diverse ecosystem. Unique plants and fish join birds because this is after all the Pacific Flyway a place to rest on the journey migrating north or south. Changes to the bay date back to the gold rush when wetlands and salt marshes were filled in for real estate. But those changes paled in comparison to the Reber plan developed in the 1940s and 50s. John Reber had a plan to dam the bay, creating two freshwater lakes and a shipping channel. The plan attracted support from various interests, enough so that the Army Corps of Engineers decided to build a bay model to simulate the effects of the plan. This is the model that we visit today. The first part, finished in 1957, encompasses the area from the ocean to Sassoon Bay. Later in 1969, they added the delta. Over 250 12-foot square slabs made of reinforced concrete fitted together like a jigsaw puzzle, make up the bulk of the model. It's one and a half acres large, the size of two football fields. Copper strips embedded in the model help simulate the water conditions in the real bay. The horizontal scale of the model is one foot for every thousand feet of bay, and 15 minutes of tide is equivalent to one lunar day. And the Bay model tested more than the Reber plan. During its years of service as a simulator, it looked at dredging shipping channels, flood scenarios, oil spills, and more. In the year 2000, computer simulation replaced the Bay model. But the Bay model has now been repurposed as an educational tool about our watershed. And the Reber plan? Well, the Army Corps of Engineers found the Reber plan would be a disaster for the Bay. Thankfully, another movement started in the 60s called Save the Bay, and it's still going strong today. Thanks for joining me today. Catch you later. Bye.